one of the things that is kind of the, the, the mark or the measure of, of a strong workforce board in a community, in a region, in a county, is its ability to, to broker and, and really bring together, to convene the different partners, the education entities, the community colleges, the nonprofits, the, uh, and, and the transportation uh, providers for the area. And I think that y y each of you, as you go back, if you don't already have those relationships, you open those, those conversations, you'll see, you'll, you, it'll be really clear to you the, the workforce boards that are already on it, they've got it, they're doing those, those, in, those convenings. And there are others that, it's not that they won't do it, it's that they haven't thought of it yet. And I think that that's an area in which you all can, can actually kind of have an easy win, is to insert yourself into that conversation and, and understand. There, I mean, there are definitely um, areas where the, it's not going to be an easy win, but I, but I think that I think it's worthwhile. But I think that um, the brokering of solutions and, and understanding right up front where, where the trends are going is, is important to remember. Because of so many people that we're working with and serving right now, we're spending upwards of a quarter of a million dollars on supportive services, most of which is going to transportation vouchers for our trainees and our unemployed workers just to keep them mobile at the moment, that for the first time in our history, we actually asked the question of, you know, how, what kind of interesting partnerships could we form, JARC-esque, if you will, and, and actually submitted a grant application to the Transit Authority around that. And, and that, that would have never factored into our world before. But so, you know, whereas you're all thinking about how you can connect into the workforce world, I've, I've had a wonderful relationship with my transit agencies in the past, but I never thought of them as a potential partner in that type of way before. We know that in terms of um, unemployment, it is, it's going to come down um, between 2010, 2011, but it's still going to be quite high. So we've got a long, long time and a long road ahead in terms of where things will be going. So where will the jobs be? The Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, put together its top 11 projected uh, job pathways across the country. So I think what's more interesting of, of those 11 jobs that BLS is throwing out there, seven are entry level. And so those seven entry level pathways that are gonna be so much of the jobs potentially across the country are going to be people that are new entrants to the workforce, low skilled, low income. They're gonna have huge transportation issues. And I think that this is an absolute run to your local WIB and your economic development agency situation and say, we've got to think about this right now. Do we have everything in place that we want?